So, you decided to stick around. Well, I've been given a job by a warlord Ragnar that I think might suit you. If you want to stay around for longer. Tell me about the job. Well, the task I have on offer should profit you, and though it's not the best way to sell our community to you, it should demonstrate that we're open about things here. You see, there was a murder committed just outside Goliath a few months ago. A rather dedicated berserker named Ascor was killed. There's been an investigation, but no definitive answers as to why he was killed. So, Ragnar wants me to follow up and find the murderer. And what can I do? Well, I'm having trouble getting answers from people. Maybe an outsider will have more success getting them to open up. Would you talk to the suspects and see what they have to say? Tell me about the victim. His name was Ascor. He was a warrior, newly promoted from Cultivator. Ragnar had high hopes for him, but Ascor wasn't... popular. He went missing around Mana's Eve three months ago. No one knew where he'd gone, and it wasn't like he had many shards to up and disappear with. Then one of Ragnar's patrols found Ascor's body rotten up in the forest. It looks like he was stabbed several times with a sword. Whoever did it was strong enough to overcome him, but clumsy. They didn't find anything on Ascor to point to who might be the murderer. And you think I can find the killer? You're a stranger here. That means you might see things I won't. What kind of logic is that? To be honest, I think this is a dead-end job. But Ragnar, against all the evidence, seems to think it was a berserker that killed Ascor, and he wants answers. Me, I think it's a wild goose chase. None of Ragnar's questioning has thrown up any proof a berserker was involved in this, so chances are it was an alb, an outlaw, or a reaver. But if a warlord has an itch to scratch, then that means we have to go and scratch it. So let's cross all these suspects off the list and give them some closure. Is this why you brought me to Goliath? To do your dirty work? I brought you to Goliath to give you a chance. And this is a way to earn it by getting a warlord on your side. Does Ragnar think a berserker murdered Ascor? Ascor was killed with a sword, and there aren't too many people who use swords outside of Idan. But if Ragnar's right, then it must be someone who was outside the walls at the time of the crime. So Ragnar drew up a list of five suspects. No idea why these five exactly, but Ragnar will have his reasons. I'll find the murderer. Ragnar wants answers. He seems determined to find out what happened. Myself, I don't know if we'll ever know what happened. But, if we can eliminate these five suspects, he might let this go. And who knows? Maybe one of them did do it, and you'll get the proof. Will the suspects talk to me? Tell them you're investigating on Ragnar's orders. They'll answer your questions. Let me know if you need help. Remember, my sword belongs to you. Who are the suspects? A group of people who were out there in the forest at the time of the murder. First on the list is Baron. He's a guard. Well, he's supposed to be a guard. As far as I know, he doesn't have an alibi. But I think the only real reason he's on the list is because he knew Ascor when he was younger. Then there's Thorgal. He's in charge of a world heart in Abessa. I have no idea why Ragnar would put him on the list. Maybe just to be complete. Third is Garen, a hunter. He was reliable, but he seems to have lost heart in himself. There's something troubling him. Last are Eirdor and Rock. Rock I can't get a handle on. There's something he's not happy about. Eirdor is still wet behind the ears. Bit of a whiner, but seems to care about his job. They were all outside Goliath at the time of the murder. What do you want me to ask them? Where they were three months ago around Mana's Eve when the crime was committed. What they thought of Ascor. I doubt you'll get a confession. I doubt any of them did it, but you'll get a sense of the men, and then you can report back to me so we can close the case. Where can I find them? They're all still out there. Track them down, then report back to me when you've discovered something.
Nothing to do? Uh, what? Who are you? What do you want? Who goes there? Are you a guard? Oh, stop asking questions and answer them. Who are you? You're lucky I'm not an enemy. Well, you know it's not like the Alps are going to attack these trees, is it? If there's one thing the Alps know we got a lot of, it's trees. And it's not like these trees do much. I mean, they're not going to run away while I'm asleep, are they? Did Master Thorold send you? Is there something important? Because if not, just go, okay? What makes you think Thorold the Pilgrim sent me? When he was still the big boss up there in Goliath, he used to reprimand me quite often. I wondered if he was still keeping an eye on me. Still, whatever. I've heard he's retreated into study. Let him play with his magic. I hope it does save us. And while he's away, I have my peace and quiet out here. What do you know about Thorold's retreat? Not much. It's said that he is working on a plan to stop the Alps. It's something huge that would change the war in all of Magellan. You think it? It happens. The Alps are screwed. Just like that. No idea what it is, though. But nobody is really allowed to talk about it. Well, then nobody even really understands what he's doing anyway. Where is Pilgrim Thorold? Well, that is confidential. Meaning, if anyone actually knows, no one is actually saying. Maybe he will figure out how to rob the elves of their magical strength, at least. Then good, honest warriors could go back to sleeping in nice, comfortable beds. Now there is a future that Magellan should be fighting for. I need to ask you about Ascor's murder. I can't tell you anything about that. Not anything that's not being said already. He should have kept his head down like me. Ambition only gets you dead. He should have picked his spot and stayed there. Why are you interested in that? Really? Tell me what you do know about the murder. Me? I only know what people are saying. That they thought Ascor had run away, but he hadn't. He'd been murdered somewhere out in the forest. I was out here at the time, on guard duty. Did anyone see you? Is there anyone who can give you an alibi? Hilda. She was with me all night. Her and Alva, and Dagny, and Erica, Freya, Garrett, Hagee, Magda. They're the trees over there. They're my girls. Very lonely out here, so no, I have no alibi. You look quite strong for somebody who's just standing around all day. Maybe. And? Did you know Ascor well? Since we were old enough to crawl, our parents were friends. We grew up like brothers. Have you been trained to use that sword? All berserkers are. You think I could survive out here if I couldn't use it? Ascor's body was found near here. Did you see it? No. I know where he was found. But no, I didn't. And I'm glad I didn't see him. I wouldn't want to remember him like that. My duties keep me here most of the time. So I stay looking after my girls, the trees, making sure they stay safe. Where do you go when you do get away? Nearby. Not Goliad, if that's what you mean. I tend to stay out here these days. Where nearby? The lift into the Valley of the Damned. That's a good place to relax. There's quite the view of the valley there. It's a good place to let your worries just drift away. I hope you find who did it. Maybe you did it. You knew him. You don't have an alibi. 
Well, why would I kill him? He was my friend. Why should I believe you? Because it, it sounds like you're doing something about this, like you want to find out who did it. You should start with people who had a problem with him, not his friends. Your friend Ascor, what kind of man was he? Well, he wasn't a simple guy. He was my friend. Our parents were friends. We basically grew up as brothers. But he was sort of ambitious, and that sometimes, well, made him an ass. Listen, it doesn't matter. Just forget what I said. Ambition could give a motive, if he got in someone's way. Well, don't look at me. I'm happy where I am. I don't give a troll's ass about promotion. You, what are you doing? You're scaring away everything within a day's walk. You crash around like that, you'll scare off anything you can eat and attract everything that wants to make a meal of you. I don't know these forests. That's as plain as a horny troll in your sleeping sack. You'd better learn quick if you want to stay alive. You're scaring away the prey that is my livelihood. It's hard enough bringing in the food I have to, without some big-footed oaf crashing through the forest. Still, seeing as you aren't a natural hunter, maybe you'd like to buy some goods from me. You're a hunter? Yeah, I found my place. This is where I belong, with nature and for nature. I want nothing to do with Goliath. Why not? Too much talking, too much bullshit. Out here, peace. But you look like a talker. Is that why you're here? To talk? What are you hunting? Whatever I find. You can't be too picky if you want to hit Goliath's quota and feed yourself. You won't catch anyone in Goliath roasting a rot boar. They're missing good meat. Do you want to stay a hunter? Nothing wrong with hunting. Let other people kiss ass and climb ladders. I want to stay out here. It's bad enough they send me these half-baked apprentices. You don't like apprentices? Apprentices want to be hunters. I get people who don't want to be anything else, so get sent here. You don't think they deserve a chance? Sending them here just gives them a chance to get killed. Live day to day, having to hit your quota of meat to send home, while you train people who don't want to be here? I went hunting with Leonard a few days ago. He was so clumsy, he brought a whole pack of raptors down on us. We got home here with no meat, and all of those damn raptors followed us right back here onto our hunting grounds. I'm not doing that again. You should take care of the raptors. Hunt raptors alone? Sure. Why not? What's the point of living, hey? Me? I'm gonna have to wait those raptors out, and Goliath will get its meat when I'm ready. About the raptors. Have you found the raptors' trail? They've been moving around a lot, but it looks like they're to the west of here for now. Teach me something. Sure. A berserker was killed. The body was found in the forest. The forest is a dangerous place. The berserker who was murdered was called Asgore. Did you know him? Asgore? That asshole? Yeah, I knew him. I kept out of his way. He kissed Ragnar's ass and treated everyone else like rot-bore shit. 
When were you last in the forest by Goliath? I don't know. Not for a year. This is the best area for hunting, and all Goliath cares about is me filling my quota. As long as I send them meat and fur, I can stay out here away from small talk and politics. Do you always hunt with a bow? A bow? Traps? You should always try and kill at a distance. Learn that, and you will live longer. I am here to feed berserkers, not the creatures. You didn't like Ascor. I didn't put myself in a position where I needed to. Little shit won't be missed. Sounds like you had a grudge. I think most people are assholes. You only ask me about Ascor. Sociable guy, aren't you? Sociable just means happy to talk shit. I don't talk shit. What's with all these questions? Is some asshole trying to pin this on me? I'm questioning anyone I meet out here. If you want an alibi for me, you'll have to go out there and speak to the raptors. Is that your only alibi? I'm a hunter. You want to know where I am? I'm always here in the forest. doing here? No one's allowed around the world, Hart. You seem nervous. Yeah. Normally the only people to come out here are albs, or outlaws. Which are you? Are you responsible for the world, Hart, here? That's what you care about? The world, Hart? What about the men sent with it? If we wither, it does too. Goliath should care as much about us as they care about that plant. But yes, what are we next to a world heart? Ants in history. Here we are standing by the future of Magalon, the very thing given to us in Magalon's hour of need. Maybe that's what Vorn meant. He told me being a cultivator was about learning who you are. Out here, isolated with this thing to care about, I've certainly gained perspective. What is a cultivator? Well, we're farmers, in the main. We grow the crops for Goliath, and we tend to the seedlings and the world hearts. The warriors act like they're the big guys, but really, they're here to protect us. Warriors might get the glory, but it's us cultivators who are changing the world. How long have you been doing this? Oh, I didn't want to do it. This was a sentence. I got sent here as punishment five years ago. Punished? And you say you enjoy doing this? Yeah, masochist, aren't I? Beer, women, and fights were all that used to matter. Now, I get a kick from seeing just a few seedlings a season make it all the way to mature. I can take pride from that. Tell me, what do you know about Ascor's murder? Mm, nothing, really. I don't hear much from Goliath out here. So, you were here when he was killed? Probably. I haven't been anywhere else in months. I only go back for supplies or to transport seedlings. When was Ascor killed? Three months ago, around Mana's Eve. Oh, uh, then I was back in Goliath sometime around then. I've lost track, to be honest, but whenever it was, I didn't see anything. How well do you know Ascor? Not at all. I mean, I knew of him, people talked about him, but I don't think I ever said more than hello to him, and he ignored me. He didn't really have time for cultivators. But, you know, people can be like that. Some value our work, others think they're superior somehow. Do you know where they found Ascor's body? I'm guessing somewhere in the forest, or why ask me, right? Did you hear anything else about Ascor? Well, I'm wondering why you're not asking me about the seedling that disappeared the same night Asker was murdered. No one seems to be asking about it. And from what I heard, it wasn't just a seedling, it was one close to maturity. 
I heard it was being sent to a cultivator in the hope it could go on to Tavar or somewhere as a new world heart. But it never arrived. Do you carry a sword? Of course. It's dangerous out here. You work here on your own? Most of the time. That's part of the punishment. It didn't used to be as lonely. They'd send patrols out to check on us. But since the Albs started attacking, we've been left on our own out here. Yeah, I guess we're not a priority. I don't think you killed Ascor. Me? Of course I didn't. You really don't think you have a motive? You mean the seedling he had? I'm a cultivator. I look after a world heart. I want to know what happened to the seedling he had. Why aren't you investigating where it went? You're out here with a sword, and no witnesses. If I tried to attack a warrior with a sword, chances are you'd be planting me in the ground. How safe is the world's heart here? You mean, with the Albs scouting out Goliath? They don't seem to register it. The world heart mustn't be their mission. Or they don't know about it. They'd kill me fast enough, though. That is, if the animals didn't get me first. Or, I don't eat the wrong thing and get poisoned. Still, all in a day's work. Anything you want me to report to Ragnar? Yeah. Can you tell him about the World Heart? That it's okay? He should know we're still working, even though the patrols aren't coming to check. But if you're offering to help, there is one thing. I've not had any supplies from Goliath. Can you get them to send someone with my food supplies? You've done well getting here alive. Are you a sentry here? Yes. My name is Thorgal. Just stay clear of the world heart while you're here, then we'll get along fine. There won't be any shit, okay? Ascor is dead. Dead? What the hell happened to him? He was murdered. Damn. I knew it. He was just too ambitious. Can you think of anyone who might have done it? Me? No. Well, not specifically. He's ambitious. Was ambitious. He always wanted to become a paladin. Last I heard, he was due to be tested by Ragnar along with some other candidates. Passing that test was all he ever wanted. So, what do you think got him murdered? I don't know. Ascor was a good man. Well, he was to me. But he could wind people up. Maybe he got the wrong person pissed with him. Maybe someone else was as ambitious as him. You knew Ascor well? Yeah, I asked if he could come out here on this assignment. But he stayed back in Goliath so he could take the warrior test. When did you last see Ascor? Just over three months ago. Not long before I came out here. How long have you been away from Goliath? Just over three months. Since then, I've been here, trying to survive in the beautiful highlands of Abessa. <laughs> trying to manage an outpost with too few people and too few supplies. And you have witnesses to your whereabouts? Yeah. More if we can find that missing supply team. This camp by the World Heart is where I've been, and this is where I'll stay until the Warlords order me back. You must be good with a sword to have got posted out here. Not good enough to hit someone in a dan from here, if that's what you mean. It's obvious you didn't do it. Yeah, well, I hope you'll find who did. I think Ragnar must just have wanted you eliminated from suspicion. He said to question me? Yes, Duras told me. Duras? 
Well, he's a man who stands by his duty. I hope the two of you find the murderer. I'm working on it. Look into whoever might have been a rival for Askor. That's my advice. Hey you, what's new from the South? You mean it, Dan? No, I'm talking about the real South, the deserts of Tavar. Why are you interested in Tavar? I'm sick of the shit here. Berserkers, clerics, fuck them all. It's all laws, commandments, rules, it's bullshit, all of it. Fuck rules, fuck laws, fuck the berserkers. The outlaws in the desert are the only truth. Freedom, profit, no bullshit. You want to be an outlaw? Yeah, absolutely. They know how to live freely. I've done nothing but work, follow orders, dig shit, and for what? To have people try and kill me for things I don't even believe in? Fuck them! I want to see the world. Instead, I'm stuck here. Then why don't you go to Tavar? I don't have the stores I need to get there, or the shards. But I know I could earn what I need. If I could just get the supplies I need to make it there. I will get you the supplies you need. Thank you. I need dried meat, you know, ration packs. And I'll need water and some sort of a weapon if you think you can get them. The water and the meat, well, there should be a number of places you can find those. As for the weapon, well, there's a farm above here. There are some outlaws there that have taken the place over. They're bound to have a weapon that will let me fit in when I get to Tavar. Berserker Ascor has been murdered. Ascor? How did that happen? Were you close to Goliath three months ago? No, I was out in the forest gathering supplies before I traveled out to the World Heart. I've not been close to Goliath for a year. Once I had the supplies, I came straight out to Abessa. Wait, you don't think I was involved, do you? Did you know Ascor? Yeah. He was an arrogant asshole. He'd have done anything for promotion. It's his sort that make me want to say this. Fuck the Berserkers. You don't seem happy as a cultivator. Did you ever think of seeking promotion? Man, I would have to be able to read first. You can't exactly climb the career ladder if you can't read. Askor could. That guy wanted to do everything to get promoted. He hated anyone else who could read. Especially if they weren't born in Goliad. Do you have proof of where you were three months ago? I don't know. I don't keep a diary. Depends on the day and the orders. Sometimes I was digging shit alone. Sometimes finding supplies alone. Sometimes marching around and building stuff where they told me to. Those days I was with people. I just did whatever they said. I didn't want to be exiled to the valley. What weapon do you use? A sword. I hate it. That's another reason I want to join the outlaws. I've got myself a gun, but I want some real weapons. I don't think you killed Asquore. Shit, 
What? You thought I did that? No way, I wouldn't have risked that, even though he was an asshole. As you say. I mean, I use a jetpack sometimes. I know. I have one that I haven't taken to the pit yet. Can you use it though? You are a berserker. Yeah, sometimes rules can be bent. I'll deal with any trouble. Then let's go. There's an abandoned camp in some ruins to the west of Goliath. You can meet me there. You lead, I'll follow. The berserkers have held the Alps back with bravery and magic. This fight will call upon those qualities. You'd better get rid of that technology. 